Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Weather in five. Five days in five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. And making sure that your home looks great, is functioning well, and it protects you in case there's adverse weather. Uh, They are in southwest Suffolk County on Long Island, serving the entire New York, New Jersey tri-state area. And come wintertime, they are Long Island's largest rock salt provider. 631-756-1125. The best prices around. Uh, OmniTrueValue.com is the website. We've got frost advisories up. Uh, It's October the 8th. And uh, they seem to be coming a little early this year, considering the uh, very cool pattern we've been in since fall arrived a few weeks ago. Uh, The coast uh, is not in it, but uh, the northwestern counties of New Jersey, much of Pennsylvania away from uh, Philadelphia uh, and uh, southeast PA. And those frost advisories actually extend down uh, into uh, Virginia West Virginia, and even down further south into the mountains of North Carolina and to the north. uh, We have it up in parts of upstate New York and in New England. Now, further north in New York State, they've had their first frost. uh, So uh, the frost advisories are only put up for that first time that uh, frost uh, is uh, an issue. And if it occurs, you don't see frost advisories again. Same holds true for uh, the uh, freezes and uh, as for low temperatures by morning it's going to be cool now the inland spots uh, the air temperature uh, which is taken six feet above the ground uh, will be in the middle 30s but it's quite possible that right near the ground that the temperature if the wind drops off could be close to that critical freezing mark so if you've got tender vegetation outside Uh, plants uh, that uh, can't bear the frost it's time to uh, bring them on in and this I think is going this is the coldest night of this young autumn season so far Uh, we are in the midst of a a pattern that continues to bring down uh, chilly air masses out of Canada and that's uh, going to continue uh, into the long range. Meanwhile, we had a, a beautiful day. This is the third day in a row after five those five miserable days that we had uh, consecutively. We have now had three nice days in a row. And if you notice out to the west, there's not really a whole lot happening. Uh, skies are mostly clear all the way back beyond the Mississippi River. Most of the action in terms of rain is going on in the southwest where you see flashes of, uh, of lightning strikes uh, happening Uh, in the southwestern quarter of the United States. And that really kind of dictates where we're going to go uh, in the next several days. Uh, The radar across the U.S., US, with that exception, uh, and also in northern Texas and parts of Oklahoma, uh, the radars are all nice and quiet. And as far as precipitation is concerned, uh, this is uh, for uh, WPC, the Weather Prediction Center, the forecast from tonight through Sunday evening, except for the southwest and a few small areas in upstate New York and northern Vermont and New Hampshire, with some light precipitation being indicated there for the most part. Uh, it is bone dry, and this is for Sunday night into Monday night. Again, bone dry except around the lakes and also uh, in the southwest. Day three, still dry, much of the eastern part of the United States. You start to see moisture shooting up from Texas uh, toward Illinois and Wisconsin. Day four, this is uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday night. That precip around the lake starts to pick up. Also around the Gulf states, as some tropical moisture moves in ahead of the next cold front. And uh, this is for uh, Wednesday evening into Thursday evening. Uh, this area of uh, rain coming eastward with this next cold front, but we have until then, so the weather's going to be great through Wednesday, uh, the next cold front coming along, and that actually could bring a decent shot of rainfall here in the uh, northeast and mid-Atlantic states later Thursday into the first part of Friday, and uh, then after that, uh, much of the nation it turns dry again. One thing about this cool weather pattern we're in is that uh, dry is going to be the key word overall. But when the rain comes with that front, it'll be, uh, I think, a decent amount. Uh, but again, lots of lots of dry days and lots of nice weather. So that cold night tonight, we're going to start to see temperatures moderate a bit Sunday and Monday. They're not going to shoot up 
very much because the cool high kind of parks itself in West Virginia and uh, sits there right through Monday and even into Tuesday. So we're looking to get back into the 60s on Sunday with a, a, a fair amount of sunshine, if not a good deal of sunshine. And I think Monday, Columbus Day, the same thing should be a partly to mostly sunny day. Tuesday also should be good and we'll hold on for Wednesday. But here comes that cold front and uh, you see that rain sweeping eastward and quite a bit of it. Actually, the front strengthens as it approaches the coast and you begin to see some heavy rains. And it looks like uh, that the precip's going to come in later in the day, Thursday, Thursday night into early Friday morning. Uh, and then it sweeps on out and then we'll get one shot of cold air followed by an even stronger shot of cold air as we move into the week beginning Monday, October 17th. Uh, it's pretty much just the pattern we're in until further notice. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number and the website is omnitruevalue.com. Just very quickly on Tropical Storm Julia, uh, it is no threat to the United States. It's going to make landfall in Nicaragua tonight, probably as a minimal hurricane on the 5 p.m. advisory. Maximum sustained winds were 70 miles an hour. So it's got a little bit of time uh, to reach hurricane strength. It's going to come out on the Pacific side, and we think it pretty much will fall apart out there once it gets out into the open waters of the Pacific because there's an upper air feature that's sitting uh, in, that, in this vicinity around 95 west that will probably absorb it or shear it apart. So we don't have to worry about this coming to the United States. The Joe and Joe Weather Show is back tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So in, continue to enjoy the rest of this Columbus Day holiday weekend.